What's going on, guys? Shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings. Good evening, good evening. Um, let's get into this word. Um, yeah, let's get into this word, guys. Got a few scriptures I want to talk about. And I might not do it all today. I might really basically spread it up. I'm going to do one here, and then I'm going to do another, um, probably later on tomorrow. So, today we're going to be basically just talking about, you know, wicked men and women as well. And wickedness is only going to increase if you read the book of Second Timothy. You know, it already tells you how it's going to be um, perilous times. You know, people are going to be lovers of themselves, truth breakers, false wearers, um, you know, disobedient to their parents. You know, um, haters are going to be, you know, despisers of good, pe of good people. So in these times, people, you know, Satan is, you know, Satan is evil. So he's been using people to, you know, do destroy good people, those that are righteous and just. So, you know, basically going to be the righteous against wicked men, evil, children of the devil, children of disobedience. And it's only going to wax um, worse. So, you know, he said, you know, the wicked will wax worse and worse. You know, he said that, you know, the righteous will understand it, but the wicked won't. But we will understand. So, um, witchcraft is the last straw for Satan to use. Witchcraft thing, witchcraft powers and witchcraft activities to try to destroy the body of Christ. Cause, to be honest, a lot of people, especially in America, we don't we don't worry about this. And even other countries as well. We don't worry about um, doing all these or knowing all this type of stuff, but it's being used against us. So that's how he's gonna destroy a lot of people because we're basically gonna, it's like almost foreign, like speaking a different language. And it seems like, you know, evil people have more wisdom or knowledge than us because, you know, Satan loves to use what we don't know. So, you know, he's been here before us, so he knows a lot, you know. So that's why we, have, we really gotta ask, seek God for wisdom and grace to, you know, cover us when the parts that we don't know because he's always going to try to use what you don't know against you and um you know you don't know you know how we're dealing with spiritual wickedness the weapons of wolf and our calling are mighty through god so you know spiritual weapons so you know we're going to get spiritual wickedness as well ephesians 6. so you know uh principalities and we have demons and principalities that are using animals if you didn't know they can use animals they can use insects so that's the things that they're using against us. I mean, they've been doing this for a while, and they can cause destruction. They can use the you know, witch, witches and witches can use the animals and insects to carry out assignments against you. They can use their demons, and they can turn into a form called shape shifting. So these women, we get men and women that are, um, you know, it's like a call to wisdom. So that's why it's abomination. They, they're basically eating from the eat tree of evil. They're eating chunks of it, not feeling no conviction for it. So, you know, that's why God is going to destroy these type of people off the face of the earth. So, you know, they're going to try to do all they can to try to override what God says he's going to do, which no one can ever do. But as far as us, they're going to make sure that they bring us down with them. Because, you know, a lot of these people, some ignorantly are, but some of these people are so these souls. So, of course, they're trying to, you know, take as many as, you know, children of God out. They're trying to take out the body, and they're gonna fail. But of course, it, you know, it, it will be some that will lose the faith. But that's why we must encourage each other. You know, you know, lift each other up. You know, we're a family in the body. We gotta lift each other up. You know, the, the leg can't go without. You know, the, the body. The body can't go without the arms. You know, we all need something. I'm done with that being said. Let's get into it. So before I'm gonna start, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break. This, this scripture with Exodus. Let's go to Exodus 22, verse 18. And we're going to warfare along with this. Exodus 22. Exodus 22, verse 18. Now, let's go. This is what we're dealing with. And at the top, it says, it says justice for all. So, you know, God is the God of righteousness, righteous judgment, and ex um, execute, execution. He executes judgment in the arm. He's a God that righteously judges. So it says this, Thou shalt not, for, not suffer a wish to live. Whoso be alive with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrifices unto any God, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Thou, sh thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. So, you know, this is God speaking to his children, you know, the strangers. You know, of course, we, you know, tribe of Judah, 
they're his first, you know, people said we are a holy nation, peculiar people. So he's speaking to the strangers, saying, you know, don't do what I delivered you from. Don't do what I, I for, he, he forgave them for doing this, for being witches, for sacrificing unto God, since what they would be doing. And he said, if you do it, you'll be utterly destroyed, and for which they, will, they, will, they won't live. And uh, if you lie with the beast, so you have people that still do this. You have people that do these things for, you know, for uh, to execute wickedness. They lie down with them. They lie down with animals. So you shall surely be put to death. It said, uh, you should not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cried out unto me, I will surely hear the cry of my wrath will wax hot. And I will kill you with a sword, and your mouth shall be widows and child, child, children, fathers. So he says this in many different um, scriptures, more than one time. But this is a serious matter that people do these things. So it says, in mind, it says, neither shall they vex the strength. So, and you know, people vexing, vex is like a, it's kind of like a sorcery, witchcraft. So a bewitch, the vex is a um, form of bewitchment. So wicked men and women are bewitching men. And he says that in Revelation, he says, um, I, have the, I have a few things against that woman, that prophet Jezebel. Which caused my people to err. The children of Israel to err. So the children of Israel, like me, not wanting to go to church and being bewitched, not to want to go to church and being bewitched. You know, to um, you know, want to go to church and then I leave church and then you know, um, go have intercourse with um, you know, whatever it may be, and it's going against what God's what you just heard in the church. So these are this is the part of the bewitchment that's going on, and people will be just, you know suffering for it, be destroyed for it. Out of our own ignorance, then of that we're, 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 where people aren't conscious of what they're doing. It's like remote con con remote control witchcraft that's going on. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go to the next one. Let's go to Leviticus 20, and you will get my drift where I'm going with this. Go to Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20. Verse, um, go to verses, let me see, well, this book, I should use my, I got two Bibles with it, let's go to verse 27, go to verse 27, and ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord, I am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine, so he severed us from different people, right, our ancestors went into us, worshipping false gods, idols, and, um, you know, some of them, they didn't know any better. They, they, they were just doing what they knew. So, you know, that's a lot. Of, uh, uh, that's why it's the reason why we're going through the things we're going through today. We're going through generational curses, repetitive cycles because of our ancestors, our forefathers, and even parental decisions, which cause parental curses. So, you know, you got if you have a child, but you do what you do, you know, will affect them. So that's the sad, that's the sad part people don't really pay attention to. That's why children um, are born with the defects, all type of stuff, you know, because of because of what they did, and Satan takes advantage of that. So you do have a child with messed up face, I'm talking about, and these attacks from the enemy on our children. So it said, um, it says a man also or a woman that had the familiar spirit or that that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. Another child, a wizard who does have a familiar spirit, familiar spirits operate all. Familiar means they're familiar with you. So familiar spirits operate in everyone's family. Everyone has a familiar spirit, and they're familiar with you. So say if you're a child of God, they will be. They will know how to, you know, come against you. They will they they, they study. They do like, like a coach. You know, he studies um different teams and he knows their weaknesses. So that's what they want to do. That's why we got to strengthen ourselves in the word and strengthen our mind, and body, soul, and spirit because you know, they're gonna try to you know come against you in ways that they know that can you know shake you up, break you, make you mad, offend you. Entice you, tempt you, destroy you, lead you. So that's why he said they should, you know, those that have a familiar spirit or a wizard should surely be put to death. They should stone them with stone, their blood should be abundant. So let's go to Leviticus 19. Verses, this is another one. It says, it says it again right here. He's serious about this. And this is how serious it is. Um, let's go to, let me see. I'm really trying to find a God. I might not be able to find it because it's a book. I'm using two, using two different books. But he says it again. But it was basically those have a familiar spirit. Those have seek. Those have familiar spirits and witches and witches. He said, you know, don't defile yourself with them. He said, if I would destroy them before your face, which he did before the children of Israel. He destroyed the Egyptians. That's what these, these, those were the type of magicians. 
Those are the type of people who was destroying for the children of Israel when they were going through their wilderness. So, you know, we're, I'm going through my wilderness. The children of God are going through the wilderness in these days because, you know, it's like being in a jungle, um, walking on a path for Christ because, you know, you're, you're surrounded. It's like walking in the shadows of the valley of death. Psalm 73, you know, you feel like death is all around. You feel like, you know, if you make this wrong decision, you're going to be, you know, you feel like Satan's going to destroy you. But, so that's why... This, 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 God sets it up like this to let you know, like, you can't live this life without me. You need me. You need me in everything you do. You need me to, you need me to wake up in the morning. You need me to, to have a good day at work. You need me for, uh, you know, to be safe when you travel. Literally. So, you know, God allows us to show our, um, you know, our weakness to, to being, in the, um, being in the wilderness. So, um, with that being said, let's go to the next one. Go to the book of Numbers, Genesis. Go to Genesis 12.3. Go to Genesis 12.3. It tells you, uh, when he's speaking to Abraham, he said, leave thy fathers in thy kindred's house, and now I make thee a great nation. So, uh, bless those that bless you. Let's see if I have it in book. Genesis 12.3 right here. It says this. It said, uh, and the Lord had um, said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country. In front of our kindred, in front of our um, father's house, unto a land that I will shoot thee. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, that, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless you, and I will curse him that curses thee, thee. So this is, you know, he was a child of God. So this is what God will do for sure. But you had to enforce it, and you had to believe that he would do it. And curse him that curses thee, and that thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Lord, in the name, let's pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, any witch, any wisdom that is going around, well done, man, before we do it, let's go to the book of, um, let me finish this. It said, uh, and, uh, it said, and thee, so all the family, families of the earth be blessed. So we can declare through us, all the families of the earth shall be blessed in Jesus' name. And he will make you a, a great nation. Decree and declare that over yourself. So you should decree that and should be established. So we decree and declare that the Lord shall bless those that bless me, and the Lord shall curse those that curse me. We decree and declare that the Lord shall bless those that bless me and everything that's concerning me. The Lord shall curse those that try to curse me and everything that concerns me. In Jesus' name, it will backfire. So with that being said, let's go to the book of Numbers 23. Go to the book, Numbers. Let's go to Numbers. Numbers, Numbers, amen. Numbers. Let's read the book of Leviticus. The, um... You know, Moab, King of Moab, tried to curse the children of Israel. Remember, all these, every time you read a different book, there's always a king conspiring against the children of God for no reason. They just, you know, want to destroy them. Because, you know, Satan uses these kings to try to do this. So if you go to the book of Numbers 23, and it said, uh, Balak, Balan, sacrifice. So he basically tried to sacrifice the children of Israel. And God didn't let it happen. He, he actually turned it into a blessing. You know, he cursed, but he, the Lord turned into a blessing. So let's just go to the meat of it. If you go to number 20, number 23 verses, <coughs> um, let's see. Let's go to verse 7, 6. He said, um, now let's go to 5. I said, and the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Root, return unto Balaam, and, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned unto him. And lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice. He and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, hath brought me from Aram. Out of the out of the mountains of the beat east, saying, "Come, curse me, Jacob, and come defy Israel." Again, said, "See, Balak, Balak wanted to he wanted he wanted to curse Jacob. He was Jacob. His name was also Israel. God bless him. He changed his um, you know, he blessed him. He said, "Your name I'll call you Israel." And he said, "Come defy Israel." So he wanted to defy Israel as well. Did this um, you no know, Israel? We're Israel. He said, "How shall I curse whom God had not um cursed?" Or how shall I defy whom the Lord had not defied? Said for the top of the rocks, I see him, and from the hills, behold, I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, so we shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the deaths of Jacob in the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous. So that's what he said. He said, let me die. I'm not, I'm not going to go against what God told me. But that kept trying to give him bribes. He said, if you, know, if you curse him, you know, I will give you, you know, I will give you land, I will give you treasure. Saying and let, and let my last and be like his. So you scroll down. Go to 19. Let me see. 
Um, um, no, let's go to 11. Seven. Black said to Balaam, What hast thou done unto me? I told thee to curse my enemies. And behold, thou hast blessed them all together. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak which what the Lord hath put in my mouth? So how can you go against what God has told you? You can't reverse even if you try. Literally. Literally. So, um, that one, bro. <coughs> so let's go down. Sit down. And the Lord said, met Balaam and put a word in his mouth. And said, Go again unto Balaam. And said, Thus, when he came to behold, he stood by his burnt offering. And the princesses of Moab with him, and Balak said unto him, What hath the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable, and said, Rise up, and Balak, and hear, hear, hearken unto me. Thou son of Zippor, God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. <clears throat> so the God is not a man that he shall lie. Whatever he says, that's what he says. And what he says is, is, is in the story. So whatever promise that he said that, that is for us, that's what the promise would be. Only you can mess up the promise by allowing Satan, you know, Satan and your problems and issues in life. To allow that, you just put doubt in your mind. It's not going to come in the form that we think of it. It's not going to come when we want it. It's going to come when you need it and when God knows you're ready for it. So, and, um, so it's it. God is not a man. So, God is not a man that he should lie. And that he should neither lie. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither, neither a man that he should repent. It said, hath, it says this. Hath he said, and it said, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall not he, shall he not make it good? So, the Lord shall make it good. And he will do it. He shall make it good concerning your, your, your business, concerning your, your life, concerning your health. You're going through a sickness. You're going through a spiritual warfare. The Lord will make it good. So you have people going through spiritual warfare and, you know, that's people going in their better language. They may be going through sickness, lung sickness, lung disease, cancer. The Lord can heal you from anything. And in these times, people have lost faith in the spiritual, in the supernatural power of God. That's why God hates religiousness. Because God is spiritual. Jesus was spiritual. He wasn't religious. You know, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they were religious. You know, they, they were all conformed to this certain system, so systematic, like robots. But there's no power in it, behind it. So, you know, we got to know what God has given us. You know, he used Moses to depart the Red Sea. Nothing about that is religious. He used God. God used, allowed Moses to, he used Moses to do his, um, you know, his will. Because Moses took heed. Now, Moses was scared at first. He, he didn't have faith that he could do it. But he said, you know, um, he said, I, I will put my words in your mouth. You know, he said, Mo Moses was like, I, I'm a, um, I'm of slow speech. You know, just like me, I'm stutter. So I stutter, bumble. So before I started to make a video, I'm like, I knew God was showing me that he wanted me to do this. But I'm like, Shh, I don't speak well. God was like, don't worry about that. Did I, did I not make thee? Did I, he was like, did I, did I not make thy mouth? So he made you the way he made you. You're perfect in God's eyes. <clears throat> so, it says, God brought them out of Egypt, he had, and he hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any domination uh, against Israel. So, we declare that okay, any, any devil, any evil woman or men trying to curse you or, um, you know, program enchantments against your life, against your health, against your family, against our destiny, we declare and declare. It is not a void. We declare that it, it, it is not a void by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, it says this. And it says, and neither is there any divination. So we declare that no divination shall prosper. We declare, and you can even get hype about it. You've got to get hype sometimes. We declare declared that it will not prosper in Jesus' name. We declare that it shall not prosper. No divination, no incantation, no enchantment, no hexes, no vexes. In Jesus' name, it is null and void by the blood of Jesus Christ. We may have been all and void by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In due time, you understand where, where I'm coming from. <clears throat> because the lack of power and um, spirituality, those will fall. They will be. They will fall. Because <clears throat> they have no power. You know, God spoke with authority. You can't be soft-spoken. Evil doesn't understand softness. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to the book of... Let's go to the book of J Psalms. Let's go to the book of Psalms 109. <clears throat> Psalms 109. So, look. So, you know, you have wicked men that speak evil over your name. They speak evil over your name. Day and night. So, that can be an unfriendly friend, a household enemy, a co-worker. That can be used by Satan to come against you. So, and over top, it says this. And this is a slanderous tongue.
Remember, people won't slander. That's a devil. That's a demon. Demon is slandering. So, it said, Hold not that peace, O God, for my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are, are open against me. They have spoken evil against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fight against me without a cause. So, you know how it is for the children of God for righteousness. Remember, we're in perilous time. People will hate you for without a cause. So, like they, like you said, King David said, you know, they speak against me with deceitful, with deceitfulness. And they speak against me with a lying tongue. They compass me, they compass me about also with words of hatred and fight against me without a, without a cause. I said, for my love, they are my adversaries. But I give myself under prayer. So, you have people that will return evil to you. For your love. You show them love, but they turn around and backstab you. Turn around and try to kill you. So this is what this world is consistent of. These are the things that happen. So the King David says this. Said, uh, and they have rewarded me evil for good and, and hatred for my love. Set that wicked man over them. And let Satan stand at their right hand. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, let Satan stand at their right hand, O oh Lord. Any devil, any wicked of the wicked that I show love to, that wants to curse me and speak in death over my name, that is slander my name to destroy me, Lord. Let Satan stand at their right hand, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let Satan stand at their right hand, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I said, when he shall be judged, let it be condemned. Let his prayer become sin. And let his days be few. And let another take his office. And let their children be fatherless. And let their wife a widow. So, yeah, evil men and women, they will try to curse your children so they can die. They want to curse. You, want, you have people that sit up in their bed and they like, hope you get hit by a car. Or just anything, whatever they can think of. That's evil That's evil expectations, evil desires. So if you read Psalms, it already says that the expectation of the wicked shall perish. So we can think of any wicked expectation and evil that has been imagined against me by any wicked person, known or unknown. We decree that shall perish in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that wicked expectation shall perish in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. And we, we decree and declare, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that's wishing death upon me or, or scarcity, poverty, sickness, disease, lack. Remember Proverbs 18, 21. Death, death in, in life is in the power of the tongue. And those that love it, eat the fruit of it. So power, word, is power in the word. So men, witches and witches and devils, you know, they know that words is power. It's power. Just like it's power in the word of God. It's power in cursing people. Hold on. This beach on the floor. <laughs> So, in the name of Jesus, so we're going to say this, Lord, any devil that's speaking continuously throughout the day and throughout the night against my family or any household enemy, Lord, let their days be few in the name of Jesus. Let their days be few in the name of Jesus. Let their days be few in the name of Jesus. Let their days be few in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And let another take their office, Lord. Let another take their office, Lord. Let it, let another take their office, Lord. Those that return evil for my good, Lord. Let the days be few, and let another take their office, Lord. Let another take their office, Lord. Let another take their office, Lord. I decree and I declare that they should be few. They will not even live out half of their days to see the Lord bless you. They will not even live out half their days to see God bless you and raise your hand held high above them. You will be the last one standing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now let's, let's go down to this. It says, let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be covered with shame. And let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yeah, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. So remember, wicked men, they, they prowl on a, on a poor man. They're needy. The poor and the needy aren't doing nothing to anyone. They, they worry about, you know, God trying to help them and deliver them from out of a pit, from out of demonic oppression. But wicked men want to come over and, you know, crush them, finish them off. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, anyone, anyone trying to curse me, whatever the cause, whatever the jealousy, envy, or pure wickedness, any demon, any personality, any agent of darkness trying to curse you, Lord, that their curses convert my blessings, Lord. They the, the, the curse to convert their blessings. I decree and I declare their curse words converted my blessing. I decree the divination should convert me to blessing. I decree it should push me higher. In Jesus' name, I decree it should push me higher the blessings. I decree it should push me forward in life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.
Let's go to the next one. Now we're going to go to the book of, um, let's go to the book of Genesis. Now, if you read Genesis 1, 26, you know, the Lord, he told, he gave Adam and Eve, you know, the garden, the garden of Eden, you know, to, to have dominion, to do. So, you know, he told them, you know, I, I'm giving you, you know, authority to multiply, replenish, subdue the earth, have, you know, subdue the earth and have dominion over the, um, you know, the earth, you know, subdue the earth, and have dominion over the fish in the, in, in the sea. And the fowls of the air, and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, every four four legged beast. So of course that's for us too. He's giving us dominion to you know have um, power over the earth, the you know to program the earth to speak to the earth, and it shall yield its increase. So this is what witches and wizards do. What they what we supposed to do for good? This is what they use for evil. So they speak to the earth and use it to curse you. They speak to the moon and use it to curse you. They, they speak to the sun and use it to curse you. They speak to the trees and they use it to curse you. So these are the mysteries that we don't know about it. So um, let's I'm gonna get there. Uh, I have a scripture for that as well. So um, let's go to the book. Um, let's go to the book. So we decree and declare. We decree and declare we shall multiply. We decree and declare we shall replenish. We decree and declare we shall subdue the fishes, the um, the, the earth. We decree and declare we shall dominion even over over the animals in Jesus' name. Amen. So now. Let's go to the book of Job. Now, this will give you a better idea. It will give you a better understanding. Because I know, you know, if this is new to you, you're going you're gonna to be confused. You know, no. So go to Job. Book of Job. Job 12. So, I'm just go to Job 12, verses 4. It says, and this, uh, look, put yourself in this picture, right? If you're a child of God, right? It said, I am as mocked. As one of his neighbor who calleth upon God, and he answereth him, the just upright man is laughed to scorn. So we laughed to scorn, and we're mocked against men that are, you know, really fools and ignorant. You know, when we're, we're wise for taking heed to the word of God and not being, you know, rebellious. So he that is ready to sit with his feet is a lamp. We're, we're, we're like a lamp that is despised and the thought of him that is at ease. The tabernacles of the robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure into whose hand God bringeth abundantly, but ask now the beasts, and, and, they, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, will speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee, who knoweth not all these, that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this. So you remind, he says, speak to the earth. Like I said, when he told Adam and Eve, I give you dominion, subdue the earth. When you subdue the earth, you, you speak to the earth. You know, I, I command, in the name of Jesus, I command the earth to yield its increase. I command the earth to favor me. And Jesus, I commanded to favor me in business. I commanded to favor me in spiritual warfare. I commanded to fight against my enemies. I commanded to fight against any witch, any was any devil that is trying to program evil, to curse me with sickness, to try to curse my family with poverty, backwardness. By divine authority, I've rather been all the void. I deactivate every evil program spoken into the earth against me and my family. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by divine authority, by the spirit of the living God. It's not by power, it's not by might. But it's by the spirit of the living God. So we decree and we declare by divine authority. We deactivate, we deprogram every evil programming of death, premature death, sickness, disease, back on this calamity, spoken to the earth against me and my family in Jesus' name. And I reverse that evil back to the sinner. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look. Isaiah 54, verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned or formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that speaks out against you in judgment shall thou shall condemn. So they program in judgment. They can you know, if you read the book of Genesis 4, Cain slew his brother um Abel. You know, um, he slew his brother. So his blood was crying out, out uh, um to um, you know, Cain, like evil judgment. Speaking judgment, evil judgment. So, you know, when a, a person murders someone, when we sin and commit you know, our morality and things like that. You know, the earth is recording, and I have a scripture that um, supports that. So the earth is holding these things against us. So evil judgment, you know, the kingdom of the underworld is holding things against us and the Hebrides. And that's what Moses was talking about to the children of Israel. So whatever we do, the earth, so remind, look, it says, speak to the earth. The earth has ears, and it can see. It sees everything that we do, as well as the angels of heaven and, the, and the, um, God and his angels. So demons and the angels. Um, So, we deactivate and deprogram every evil programming that causes sickness, and disease, backwardness, poverty, lack, hatred, and rejection. So people can program the earth 
to make make people fight you and come against you. And one of the books of King David, King David was so favored by God that he even he he calls the elements. So these are elements that evil men speak into to fight against us, to keep us in bondage and affliction. So you have people that are programming affliction against us. So you wake up, feel like someone, you know, hits your leg with a hammer. So these are the type of spiritual warfare that have been going on since I don't know how long when. And the type of people that know about these things more than us, of course, in America, are Africans and those that are other countries, other countries. So that's why, you know, children of God, us holy nature, peculiar people, we're looked at as fools and like we're ignorant because we, we really lack. That's why God said, um, you know, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. He said, they reject my knowledge. You know, I will reject them. So, you know, since you rejected me, you know, I will reject your children. So, you know. That's what God said. So we rejecting the, we are rejecting this generation being bewitched by spiritual wickedness and which got power to reject the Lord God and it's grieving it's grieving the Lord. So it's only by the Lord's grace that we are protected and preserved even when we we sin and we do what we do. But God is a God for the mercy and grace. So with that being said, let's go to the book of um Deuteronomy. I think yeah, Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, amen. So in the name of Jesus, I command the earth to fight for me. I command the earth, the water, the ground, and the sea to, to work on my favor, and the stones to favor me, and to fight against every enemy that's coming against me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, matter of fact, let's go to this. Joshua 10, 11. And this is what I mean. This will write in you. This will give you understanding. Joshua 10, 11. Now, you know, so no, look, this is how you deactivate, you know, people's words against you in that spells, whatever they're trying to use, divination, enchantment, incantation. So that's why I say, you know, weapon, we decree and declare, no weapon fashioned upon against us shall never prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in slander, whatever slanderer tongue, whatever mocking tongue, whatever witchcraft tongue, whatever evil tongue, we decree and declare, it is null of war, and we condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. We condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, we run to every evil tongue. Null of void, powerless, impotent, every satanic utterances. We went away. Null of void by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. So it's a description about that kingdom suffers violence and the violence taken by force. You got to give out because violence. The children of the devil, they don't know what. Um, they, only, they only know violence. Satan only knows violence. You got to be violent too. You got to get on his level. That's the only way he understands. That's the only way you get him up off you. You know, it's just like a, it's like a relentless bully. He is not gonna get until you punch him back in the face. So you gotta punch him right back. So number um, Joshua 10, 11. So it says, and this is about Joshua, children of Israel, warned against the Amorites. You know, five kings, all, all these kings, you know, joined themselves to come against Joshua. That's how afraid it was of, um, against Joshua, because Joshua was favored by God. So when you're favored by God, you know, your enemies will bind themselves together. And fear and hatred and jealousy and envy. So, and I might be able to find it. So look, for 19, it's nine. It's the end of the past. But the kings, which were on the side of joined in the hills, in the, in the valleys, and all the coasts of the great sea, the great sea, over against Labadin, the Hittite, and the Amorites, the Canaanites. They were all against it. And the Prebazites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites heard of. And they, it said that they gathered themselves. See? They gather themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel. So don't think this, these things happen. It's happening again. It's, you know, history repeats itself. It said that with one accord, and when the inhabitants of the Gibeon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai, they did they did work willingly. So that means like willingly, <laughs> and went and made as if they been ambassadors and took old sacks upon their asses and you know their goats, the um ass, the goat, the little um you know. Donkey. It does. And wine bottles old rent and bound up and old shoes and cloud upon their feet and old garments upon them and all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy. Said and he went to Joshua and to the camp at Gilgal and unto them and to the men of Israel and we become from a far country. Now therefore make ye a league with us. And the men of Israel said unto the Hebrews, Prayer the venture, ye dwell among among us, and how shall we make a league with you? And they said unto Joshua, We are the servants, and Joshua said unto them, Who are we? who are ye, and from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country, thy servants are come up because of the name of the Lord thy God, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. So, you know, if you read the book of Exodus, you know, God shewed the signs of wonders amongst the Egyptians. 
you know, because the Egypt Pharaoh tried to take captive children of Israel, tried to slay them with the Egyptians. And the Pharaoh wouldn't let them go. He, you know, Moses, he, kept, he told Moses, go to Pharaoh and tell him, let my servants go so that they may serve me. And every time he would tell that, he would, you know, he would not listen. Then he would like, he would tell Moses, you know, uh, you know, stick your hand out, stick your rod out. And I'm going to send all the sources for divers, flies, and flies or over to the camp of the magicians, which is the wizard. Those that dad went to the car. So he sent flies. He said, look. He said, so fly. And fly to school. And talking about sending the tumble flies. So that's what we're dealing with. We, know, we are in those times. We're in those times that the enemy is doing these other things. And those that don't know what's going on, they, they're going through this warfare. So I'm going to skip. Let's get to the chunky part. So Joshua 10, verse um, 12 says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said on the side of Israel, Sun, stand up still upon Gibeon, thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written into the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day, there was no day like that before or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto a voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with them into the camp of Gilgal. So, the sun and the moon, even, you know, God caused the sun and the moon to listen to Joshua to fight, fight for him. So, imagine, God will favor you. He will allow you. So, let's, let's pray. We're going to say, in the mighty name of Jesus, by divine authority, Father, my Lord, any evil program against in the sun or the moon or the stars, against me, against my family, against our health, against our destiny, against our virtues, against our glory, against our life. In the name of Jesus, by divine authority, I deactivate it. I deactivate and I deprogram. I deactivate and I deprogram. I deactivate and I deprogram. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the spirit of the, of the living God, I deactivate every enchantment, every domination, every bewitchment, every hexes, every vexes, every hood, any voodoo that has been dispersed into the sun, moon, and stars against me by the divine authority, by the spirit of the living God. I deactivate and I deprogram it. 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 In the name of Jesus. I the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now, let's go to Psalm 121. As a matter of fact, Let's go to this. Let's go, before I go to Psalm 121. Yeah, let's go to Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. So people are being afflicted by the, by the earth. W wicked men and women are using the earth and the moon and the sun and the elements to afflict you, to curse you with untimely death. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna finish speaking to the, you know, speaking and deactivating and canceling. So Psalm 21 says, "I will lift my eyes into the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh for the Lord, which made her heavens and earth. And he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber." I said, "Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil." He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So we decree and declare, we shall not be smitten by the sun by day, nor the moon by night. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare, we shall not be smitten by the moon by day, nor the moon by night. And now it's arrows. If you read Psalms 91, it says, uh, verses uh, 6, where they said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness. You know, demonic pestilence, sickness and disease, heart attack. They come in the form of a demon. Come, you know, these spirits come in the form of a sickness. Now they can project themselves. You know, you know. That's why I said, uh, the Lord said, while the enemy slept, while while men have slept, the enemy so tars. So He told them, whatever my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. So you uproot that. Whatever has been planted, you gotta pray when you wake up in the morning. For the Lord, any evil, whatever, any power that has shot, any arrow, any witchcraft arrow, any arrows of sickness, any arrows of death, any arrows of um, premature death, sickness, disease that's been planted in me, shot against me, or my family. Well, let it be uprooted by the blood and let it go back to the sinner. Let it be uprooted by the blood and let it go back to the sinner. Let it be uprooted by the blood and let it go back to the sinner. Let it go back to the sinner. Let it go back to the sinner. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. 
So now let's go back. So we're going to continue. My father below, any evil programming inside the sun, any evil thing written into, into the cycle of the sun and the moon and the stars against me, against my family, against our health, against our life. In the name of Jesus, we deactivate, we deprogram. In the name of Jesus, we decree every arrow that has been shot against me or my family by the sun by day or by the moon by night, any terrors that's been programmed, any premature death, any calamity, any catastrophe, any destruction, Lord, be deactivated and be deprogrammed. By the blood of Jesus, we nullify that evil. By the blood of Jesus, we nullify that evil. By the blood of Jesus, we nullify that evil. And every evil decree, every pronouncement programmed to the cycle of the moon against me. Any witchcraft verdicts, you know, they can, you know, people can program people to um, um, accuse you of something that you didn't do. They can spy, they can program the sun and the moon to cause, you know, um, like witchcraft conspiracy, conspiracy against you, cause wicked men, well, men and women that's not filled with the Holy Spirit to come against you. So we, we blot out every evil verdict by the blood of Jesus Christ. We blot it out by the blood. We blot it out. We blot it out. We blot it out. In the name of Jesus, we blot out every evil decree, every pronouncement. In the name of Jesus. And we reverse that evil. We condemn it and we reverse that evil. We condemn it, we reverse that evil. We condemn it, we reverse that evil. We condemn it, we reverse that evil. In Jesus' name, man. Yeah, look, you better understand it. Now if you go to Isaiah 10. Go to Isaiah 10. This is what God is saying against, you know, people that do these things, right? So, chapter 10, verse 1 says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that and right to grievousness, which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judging and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that may rob the fatherless. What will you do in the, in the day of visitation and the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will you flee for help? And where, where will you leave your glory? Where, where will they leave their glory? And it says this, Without the Lord, they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So, in the name of Jesus, any evil decrees written or spoken inside the cycle of the moon against me, against my life, against our health, against our finances, against our marriage, against our finances, anyone, any bewitchments being programmed against our uh, our family, our soul, our mind, our health. But about the Twitter, we deactivate, we, de we deprogram it. We deactivate, we, we, well, we deactivate, we deprogram it. We deactivate, we deprogram it. Now, the by the name of Jesus. And we reverse that evil back to center. Any witch, any wizard, any occultist, any spiritualist, any warlock. In the name of Jesus, we deactivate, we deprogram it. We deactivate, we deprogram it. And we reverse that evil. In Jesus' name. Now, we're going to say, Lord, according to Joshua 10 12, as, as, Joshua, as you fought for Joshua and Israel, with the sun of the moon. In the name of Jesus. Every time the sun shows up. Oh Lord. Let it fight my enemies. Oh Lord. When the moon shows up. Let it fight my enemies. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Every time the moon shows up. Let it begin to torment the tormentors. Every time the sun shows up. Oh Lord. Let it begin to torment the tormentors. And the mighty name of Jesus. Every time the moon shows up. Let it begin to fight my enemies. And the mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Every time the sun shows up. Let it begin to make my lives. My enemies miserable. And the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Every time the sun shows up. Let it, be, let it smite my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Every time the moon shows up, let them receive the terror of the night in Jesus' name by the moon. Lord, every time the sun shows up, let them receive the errors by the sun by day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's go to the Jer Jeremiah. This is what Jeremiah, look, remember to speak to the earth. They can program the earth to, un to fail you, rejection. They can program rejection so you don't get a job. And this is what they do against us. They keep us in poverty. They keep us impoverished it keeps in rejection to make sure you don't never um you know get a wife they they, they the program for rejection this is what wicked men and women do they work for satan so let's go to jeremiah jeremiah 22 jeremiah 22 and i might hopefully i'm gonna move hold on one second let's just read the whole jeremiah Say, thus said the Lord, go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak this, there this word. And say, hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sittest upon the throne of David, thou thy servants and thy people that enter, enter in by these gates. Thus said the Lord, execute, so the Lord is execute judgment for me. So he said he's using him to execute judgment. So you know, the Lord uses man just like demons use man. So he's using him a temple. A temple, they need a vessel. The Lord is looking for a temple. You know, we are the temple of the Lord. You know, the Holy Spirit is within us. When you are a born again child of God, when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now bought at a price. You're no longer, the Lord, is, he owns you. So 
is you, we're his, we're, but he's our master. We, we 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 can't do just whatever we want. We can't live any type of way we want to live. So you know, it says, "Thus said the Lord, execute ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor, and do no wrong, do no violence, the stranger and the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in this place." Said for if you do the, do this thing, then shall it, it says, then shall there enter in by the gates of the house of kings, sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and horses. So you know most rulers, most rulers, right? They ride with chariots and horses, right? I said, uh, and he and his servants and his people. But if you will not hear these words, I swear by myself, said the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. So this is what the Lord will do to you know wicked people, he'll, even people in power. He will make that. If you read the book of uh, Daniel, King Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, he turned him to basically the, the eat with the animals because he didn't. He, he thought he was over the world. He was using his authority, his position to oppress the people and try to worship him. So the Babylonian times. So um said uh says let's continue. Amen. Said, but if you were not hear this words, I would swear by myself, the Lord saying, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus said the Lord unto the king, unto the king's house of Judah, there art Gilead unto me in the head of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make thee a wilderness and cities which are not inhabited. So the Lord will cause cities to become desolate. It's cause he will do it. And it's, it's going to happen. He said, and I will prepare destroyers against thee, everyone with his weapons. And they shall cut down the, the choice cedars and cast them to the fire. And many nations shall pass by the city that you, you know, you think these men have in, are in control of or that they don't think God can destroy. The Lord will show his sovereignty and his supernatural authority. He's, he create, he, he, he create, he stirs up the wind. He stirs up the ocean. He's a God that keeps and holds back the, you know, the ocean from over to overturning the earth. Just like if you read the book of Genesis, Noah was the only one in the ark. You know, him and his family, everything that was connected to him, connected to him was saved. But everyone else that was drinking, getting married, you know, going out clubbing, whatever any but of God, and the flood washed them away. So, you know, he made it um God made a promise. He, he you know, he put a bow in the cloud and the cloud is a rainbow. Like, this is my promise that I will no more flood the earth. But he since he's not coming in as a flood, he will he's coming with fire he's going to come all, all consuming fire and those that you know defy the lord and those that defy the children of god they will be consumed by fire amen and this says this and i will prepare destroyers against thee let's scroll down saying many nations shall pass by the city and they shall say every man to his neighbor wherefore had the lord done thus into this great city then shall they answer because they have forsaken forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods. And shall they say, Weep, weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him, but weep um, sore for him that goeth away. For he shall return no more, nor return to his, na his native country. For thus said the Lord, Touching Shalom, the son of Hosea, king of Judah, which reigned instead of, of Hosea's father, which went out forth of his place, he shall not return thither any more, but he shall die in the place where they have led him captive, and they shall see his land no more. It says, Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. So, you know, that's oppression, and that's still going on. You know, Satan uses people with power to oppress. So, you know, that's why um, in Isaiah 49, he said, uh, he said, I will oppress those that oppress thee. As a matter of fact, I might go there next. Um, let me see. Let's go to something but the eyes and thy heart. Or not, but for thy covetousness. So people covetousness in their business, their riches, their treasures, whatever it may be, for to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it. Therefore, thus said the Lord. So look, this is what the Lord is saying. Concerning um, Joachim, the son of Hosea, king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, I, my brother, or I, my sister, they shall not lament for him, saying, I, I Lord, I, his, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial and ass, drawn and cast forth and beyond the gates of Jerusalem. So it's saying, uh, go, I'm trying to find ways, you said curse. Okay, well, here we go, 28. So remember, you know, you have people that speak to the earth, and this is what God had told him to do. But, you know, instead, Satan is using these wicked men and women to do the same thing that we're supposed to be doing. But remember, you know, knowledge is being buried. And, you know, in these last days, you know, he, 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 what wisdom will be revealed. It will be given to those who, you know, seek it and those who have an open ear. He said, those that have an ear, let them hear. So he said, uh, let's go. And now, look, look, verse 25 said, I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, into the hand of them 
of, of them who was faced their fear. So the Lord saying, you know, if you fear these people, I will give you into the hand of those. So don't fear your enemies. So even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out and thy mother that bear thee into another country where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land where unto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. It says this, is is this man is this man Kaniah despised or broken idol? So idol, remember God is against idolatry. And you say, you have some people that worship idols on purpose. Like consciously. And, and a lot of our um, you know, ancestors did that. So these demons in our bloodline are fighting this. So this is what's making it hard for you to become successful. This is why it's hard for you to get married. Because these demons are frustrating your, you know, God's plans and purpose. So you had to if you want to break the cycle, you had to warfare. Just like I'm doing now. You, it's you know, you had to fight. You just know. If you read about the book of Gideon, mighty man of valor, God called him a mighty man of valor. You know, he was like, I'm a mighty man of valor. I'm shit, I'm I'm poor. I'm the poorest man in my house. I mean, who am I? He said, Man, you a mighty man of valor. <laughs> and that's who you know, that's how we feel when God was like, You wanna use me to do this? Man, I'm, I'm little. Look at my stature. Look where I come from. The Lord is like, he said, go in your might. Go in your strength. And, you know, go in your strength and I will, God will fight for you. So that's for us. The Lord will, you know, when we go in our might, the Lord will fight for you. And the fly just flew right back in. So um, so he said, is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Where for are they cast? So he and his seed are cast into a land which they know not. It says, oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Oh, look, look. oh, earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, write ye this man childless, a man that should not prosper in his days. So he's speaking to the earth, not to prosper this man that is worshiping idols and so forth. So, the, so it says, he shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper sitting upon the throne of David. So he, he took his position and um, used it to oppress. So it's just sitting upon the throne of David and ruling anymore. So the earth is speaking against you. You will no more rule in, 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 in kingship. No more. You will lose your, your position. So the Lord used him to do this. So let's go. Um, let me see. I'm going to read this. Go to chapter 23. I'm going to just read this. One, one say, Woe woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord, go to Israel against the pastors that feed my flock. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. So you have these pastors. They're not. They, they're, they're of the devil. And they have they capturing people's souls, the people in the church, lying, using div divination, the other devil. So it said, therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the past that feed my flock, ye have scattered my flock and drove them away, and have not visit the, visited them. It said, behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. So he will recompense these false pastors that's you know um, touching people's hands and these people getting paid money to do backflips and. Involves and have seizures like they, like they, like it says, a miracle, false signs of wonders. And God already said it in these last days, false signs of wonders. You know, it'll be many, it'll be false Christ, false prophets that will shoot, you know, signs of wonders and even false ones. Look at this, see? I can't even open my door for one second without this thing doing it. So, um, mourners and spirits, they even operate in fives. So, these are the type of things which is the wizards they can send you away. And even it could be a generational demon as well. So these um we're all I'm dealing with my own spiritual warfare um as well. Um so it says, and driven them away, have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries, whether I have driven them, the scattered children on the four corners, and I will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and, in, and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more. Nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. They said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise unto a David, a righteous branch, and the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in, in the earth. So he's talking about Jesus. So I said, And in his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And, and this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, but which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the um, seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, out of the north country, from all the country where I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So the Lord is going to have us dwelling in our own land, in our own, not on no one else's 
don't do this, don't do that. You know, God is going to give us our own land, which he promises. So this is the thing Satan wants to snatch away from you. He wants to think that you will not walk into your promised land. You know, the, the Lord will bless you of your inheritance. Don't call, don't sell, don't cough up your inheritance for a, a quick fix, a quick fix to become successful, to get money, to, um, you know, feel good, whatever it may be. Don't take shortcuts in life. Shortcuts come with death. Shortcuts, shortcuts come with curses. So I took, the, I got jobs in the wrong way. You know, a lot of people get jobs in the wrong way. And God didn't, you know, tend for you to, you know, you know, you, you want cocaine, but using someone else's pee. Get clean. The Lord wants you to get clean and get it the right way. Pray on, is this job really for you? So we got to seek the Lord for everything, literally. Because what we, what we don't seek for him for and make a step on our own, we're going to be walking ourselves into our own destruction. You know, literally, and that's from me to you. I did it plenty of times. It's only by the Lord's grace and mercy that I'm still here to tell you about it. So, with that being said, let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to the book of Job 38. Book of Job 38. And this is a scripture that you can say in the morning. And then you tell you, you speak to the you speak to the elements. You tell her what to do. You know, Lord, I speak to the moon. Lord, let it let, let it release favor upon my life in Jesus' name. And Lord, let the moon fight any evil, every any evil power, but you know, principality, any evil power that is hunting incantations, any evil power that is uttering incantations and curses into the moon against my life and my family to prohibit elevation, Lord. I fire it in the name of Jesus. I believe fire let it be consumed by fire. I believe fire against every power that is hunting incantation and divination and gets into the moon against me and my family to prohibit my elevation in the name of Jesus. I cast that power in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let that power die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And personalities. All of us have person, wicked personalities in our family line. And they can be operating in one of your family members that, that really wants you to die. They, you know, they don't, they're not really a child of God. It could be someone in your house. Or some you love, you know, they portray like they love God, they love Christ. Behind closed doors, they didn't, they don't, they're wishing death upon you, and they're doing diabolical things. So Job thirty-eight, Amen. Go to Job thirty-eight. Now, it says this. Go to verse twelve. It says, "Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and has and, and caused the day to and over his place, that it might take the holes of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it." And it, it is turned as a clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. And from the wicked, their light is withholding, and their high arms shall be broken. So this is the prayer. You pray these at between 11 a.m. and um, 3 p.m. 3 a.m. Because, you know, when you sleep at these times, this is where evil men and women are up, you know, doing all type of evil. So spiritual attacks, you know, people wake up and get spiritually attacked in their sleep, you know, projecting, actually projecting, all type of things, attacking you through actual projection. And they can even, you know, witches and witches can cause demons to summon your soul. Um, summon your soul into the spiritual realm and pollute your spirit. So that's called spiritual pollution. So you, one way for them to pollute your spirit and to program evil in your life and plant weakness is through dreams. So they, they actually project into your dreams. So when you dream, you're in the spirit realm. So they actually project into your, into the spirit. They actually project into your, into your dreams. That's why it's so good to pray. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, cover me from any dream intruders. And Lord, favor me in, in my dreams to destroy my enemies in Jesus' name. So you're going to be getting chased in your dream. You're going to be getting stabbed in your dream. Fought in your dream. These are all dreams of bewitchment and, and um, manipulate dream manipulation to curse you. So they can plant. So if you're getting locked up in your dream, you know, that means like so much conspiring against you. They're trying to program, you know, somebody to conspire against you, to get you locked up, to arrest you. And um, another one is uh, getting chased in the dream. Someone could be trying to, you know, kill you. Someone's after your life. And as well as getting stabbed and fought random people. And monitor spirits and these demons can masquerade themselves as people that you know. And, you know, you might be like, why is my mother in my dream? Why is my best friend in my dream? You know, they can use these dreams to mess with your head to think that they're up to something. But sometimes it, it does. Sometimes these are God's doings. So you can have, show someone that's really not, not, not for you. And they're being dreamed doing something. To you. So that could be a warning sign. So when you have these dreams, cancel it. I notify any dream of, of backwardness. I notify any dream of death. 
I nullify by the blood of Jesus every dream of premature. I nullify any dream of imprisonment by the blood of Jesus. I nullify the evil. I nullify by the blood of Jesus. I nullify by the blood of Jesus. I nullify. I nullify. I nullify any evil program of evil dreams. In Jesus' name, I nullify every evil dream of poverty by the blood of Jesus Christ. So if you have dreams of eating in a dream, dreams of having sex in a dream, you know these are planted. This is a way for Satan to plant sickness and disease, so you wake up with sickness. So whatever my heavenly Father has not planted, Lord, let it be your Buddha by the blood. And now you can use blessed water, anointed oil. And you speak into the world. You bless your water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I release the Lord's fire, the power, and the anointing, and the great, and the Lord's grace over my life into this water in Jesus' name. And you, whatever you tell this water to do, you do. You know. Um, hold on one second. So I got oil. So this is water. I, whatever I tell this water to do, this is what it will do. Um, I, as, as I drink this water, Lord, let this neutralize and reverse any evil um, vexes, hexes, incantations, enchantment, divinations, provocation, dedication that was you no know, programmed against me or my family. Lord, as I drink it, let it go back to the sender. And let it be broken in Jesus' name. Lord, as I drink this water, let it reverse every spiritual, every arrow. Of that was shattered against me by witches, witches, and martyrs and spirits. As I drink this water, Lord, let it go back to the center. In Jesus' name. You know, um, like I said, the enemy shows tars while you sleep. Lord God, as I drink this water, Lord, let every deposit of sickness, disease, or evil, or um, poverty, um, struggle, hardship, that as I drink it, Lord, let it be flushed out of my life, and let it be flushed out of my spirit, let it be flushed out of my spirit, and my um, my 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 health out of my body, out of my organs. Every spiritual sickness, let it be flushed out. Every disease, HIV, AIDS, fibroids, cancer, let it be flushed out as I drink this. In Jesus' name, my Lord, let us fight and scatter every every evil eye. Evil eye, which is what's have evil eyes, you know, the Azure Jack, right? So they're using that, that, that third eye. They have the third eye to monitor you. So, Lord, as I drink this water, let it blind, blind every evil eye, monitor eye that is monitoring me in the spiritual realm. In Jesus' name, Lord, as I drink this water, Apply this oil. Let every evil mirror, they have evil mirrors. They can use an evil mirror to watch you in their coven, in their, in their underworld. So, you know, it's a lot of abominations that they do. Do it as I apply this oil, as I drink this water. That I crash that evil mirror. I break it. Let it be broken in Jesus' name. And that is that is reverse every evil projection. Do it as I drink this blood. That is condemn and sinus and reverse every evil accusation. Any witchcraft accusations that it condemn it and that it silence it by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. I declare, I declare as I drink this water, that it speak blessings, instant healing, breakthrough, miracles, testimony in Jesus' name. And I declare, and I declare as I drink this water, that this, I declare, as I, look, here's another, as I drink, look, which is what they want to kill you. They have no love, no they will learn. So as long as they fight, you got to fight because they don't give up. So you can't give up. So Lord, as I drink this water, I decree any witch or witch that is fighting me against my friend, I decree and I declare they shall die. They shall drop and die. They shall drop and die. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you do that and, you know, the Lord will fight on your behalf. You had to, to believe. You had to believe. You had to believe in your heart, your spirit, and your soul, and your mind. And the Lord, it, 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 the Lord will fight for you. So when you're in a, um, before you go to sleep, before you don't go to sleep throughout the whole night. Because there's things that go on. That's why. That's how the enemy causes killings to happen. That's how he causes you to get fired. He causes your wife to, you know, um, to divorce you, cause arguments. Because they're programming contentions, fights, um, sickness, disease, um, destruction, embarrassment. Whatever, whatever, whatever they want, they can program. So you deactivate, you deprogram any evil program. They can, de they can program for you to get in a car accident. So, you know, you got to deactivate, deprogram it. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we cancel it. We nullify that evil in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And um, I got one more. And let's do this. This is, um, this is a defense scripture. Let's do it. Um, let's do this. Let's go to Psalm 33. Psalm 33. Um, so it says, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for his praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with a harp and sing unto them with some pottery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto them with a new song. So sing unto the Lord with a new song, which with praise. Says, um, says, sing unto him with a new song, please skillfully 
with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth the righteous and judges the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. So by, by the breath of his mouth was the earth made. If you read Genesis 1, you know, and you know, he spoke a word and he said that, that there be light and there was light. If you read John um 1 1, you know, in the beginning was the word and the word was was God. So we speak, speak the Bible, right? And I got an example. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Amen. So let praise the Lord. We bless you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. Thank you for answering prayers. We thank you for listening to us. We thank you for hearing us. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We bless, bless it be your holy name. Bless it be your holy name. Bless it be your holy name. In Jesus' name, how you be your way, Lord God. We honor you. We glorify your name. We bless you. Be there magnified. Be there glorified. Forever and ever, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we bless you. We thank you forever and ever. Thank you for your grace each and every day that you show us. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. So let's go to the Isaiah 55. And Lord, matter of fact, this is what, this is, uh, before we go there, let's go to Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54, 17. So it says, Babylon trusts in, in her own wisdom. So these witches and wizards that's operating in Babylonianism. You know, doing things that's not doctrines and devils. This is what he says, verse 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin, daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, and there is no throne, O daughter of the of the Chaldeans. For there should no more be called tender and delicate. Take them out of songs and ground meal, and cover thy locks, and make bare the leg. And cover thy thigh, and pass over the rivers. Sit, um, verse 3, it says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yet thy shame shall be unseen. Be seen, I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. It is for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. It says this, Sit thou silent and, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be God, the Lady of the Kingdoms. So let's go, let's, let's go to the verses 4. It says this, Let's go to um, 9. It says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment. And one day the lost children, again, just like the Leviticus and um, Exodus, in the widowhood they shall come upon thee in a perfection for the multitude of thy sources and for the greater abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trust in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None see me. Thy wisdom and thy in thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. It says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from whence it ariseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it up, and desolation shall come upon thee, and suddenly which thou shalt not know. It says this. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sources. Murmuring, thou hast labor from thy youth. So their own wickedness, God, will cause it to come upon them. Because all the wickedness that they've been dispersing against people will cause that wickedness to come back to them. So you know, these demons know, they got, you know, whoever who is being used by them, so they consult with demons. They know, out of, they, out of their own ignorance, they don't, they don't know any better. You know, the demons come back to collect. So they're going to come back and collect their souls. For making a pact with the devil. So, um... It says, stand there with the enchantments and with the multitude of thy sources. Where man thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shall be able to profit, if so be thou man to prevail. There are where in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers help you, and the monthly prognosticators, which you know predict the monthly um predictions. And stand up see if they can stand up and save you from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, there shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. They shall not be a cold woman, nor a fire to sit before. Thus shall it be into thee, with, I say, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall want everyone to his court, and none shall save thee. So we decree and declare, Father God, any witch, any wisdom that is seeking to destroy me, anyone that is vile, they would, they would not let me go. They, they would not quit the fight of my family, whether it's our health, our ministry, my job, my career, my finances. My destiny, Lord. Let them die by in the name of Jesus. Let them die. Let them be stubble. Let them be stubble and burn to ashes. Let them die by fire. Let them be stubble. Let them die by fire in Jesus' name. By the power of your flame. In Jesus' name. Let them be burnt by the flame of the Holy Ghost. Let them be burnt by the flame of the Holy Ghost. Let them be burnt by the flame of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last one. Let's get Isaiah so you can get a better understanding. So look, the word of God is, is it does not return unto the law of um, void. So verse 11 says this. It says, um, let's go to 7. It says, let the wicked forsake his way 
and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. So this is what he said to us wicked. Turn away from your wickedness, and he will forgive him. Says unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon us. He will pardon you when you repent. Said, for my thoughts are not your with thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain coming down, it is snow from heaven, and, and it returneth not thither, but the water of the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the to the eater. So his words, his thoughts are higher than ours. So he doesn't think like us. So just know he's he is working. He's fighting for us in the background. So so shall his word be that goeth forth out of his mouth. It shall not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prouse in the thing whereunto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led with forth with peace. So we decree and declare that we should go out with joy. We should go out with we should be led with peace. And the mountains and the hills shall break forth before us into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. In Jesus' name. Instead of the thorn shall come out the fir tree, and instead of the brier tree, brier shall come out the myrtle tree, and it shall be to thee. I said it says the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. So instead of throwing the thistles, the Lord, you know, your harvest, your prayers, it will reap, it will reap, it, it will yield its increase. It will be a beautiful harvest. It won't be a naked tree, it won't be a dusty tree. You know, the Lord is divine. We are the branches. And without the vine, we cannot bear any fruit. We, without him we can do no good things. So we declare and declare that it's word concerning your life, concerning my ministry, concern um a spiritual warfare, concerning our destiny. It shall come to pass in Jesus' name. We declare that it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. And we declare that any spells, any hexes, any vex, any voodoo, any hoodoo, we reverse that evil. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we render it in all the void. We cancel it. We nullify it. We condemn it. We reverse that evil. 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 Back to the center in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, man. Let's just let's just give him thanks. Before I get off, Lord, Lord God, we worship you, we bless you, we thank you, we ask you to continue to protect us, continue to preserve us, and um, keep your keep your angels around our minds, Lord. Give your angels charge over our homes, over my lovers, and even protect those that are in their everyday life in this country, in the earth. Protect, preserve them, heal them, renew their strength. You said, "Blessed are those that wait upon the Lord, for they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings." And we should run and not get worried. We should walk and not faint. So, Lord, we bless you. We honor you. We cancel and terminate every assignment of the wicked, of any wicked powers, any principalities. In Jesus' name, we pray. We sit and so today in the blood of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare all things are working together for our good for those who love the Lord. I decree for we love you. So, we decree and declare all things are working together for our good. Je Jeremiah 29, he says, My thoughts of you is thoughts of peace, not of evil, to bring you to a, uh, bring us to an expected end. So, we decree and declare. The Lord is expected in for us is peace, joy, prosperity, abundance, health, and wealth, vitality, long life. According to Psalms 118, verse 17, he said, um, you shall not die. I shall not die, but we shall live and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. So we declare and declare we shall not die. We shall live and declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Whatever anyone who is gospel, speaking death over your name, speaking power, we decree and declare we shall live and not die, but declare the wonderful works of the Lord. Psalms 23, he said, you shall put, he shall prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So we decree and we declare that the, that the Lord is preparing a table before us. He shall and he will and he is preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies in Jesus' name. And that we shall, look, look surely good, the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. So we decree and declare, surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow me, my family, my lovers, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, my wife, all the days of our life. We decree and declare. We, we we fully believe it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God bless you guys. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. I love y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy, enjoy. God bless. Peace.